10, 20, 30, 40 years from now when Staley's winning district championships and conference championships and a state title. You can say, hey, we were the first one to do it. Just the fight that they had in them all year. Uh, we talked about early in the season, be able to create that identity. Um, what is this team going to do well? And to see that happen at the end of the season, our last few weeks, headed in the district play, headed in the sectional play, um, to see what our identity was. And that was to become just a hard working defensive team that is able to take advantage of the opportunities going forward when they come to us. Um, and to have those things happen when you talk about them since August 6th, when those things come to fruition, um, it's great to see. My favorite play had to be in the Fort Osage game when Tony crossed the ball and I headed in for the 100th win in the program. Definitely the free kick against Fort Osage where uh, I crossed it into Adam Pruitt and he finished it with a great header, uh, winning us the 100th win in the program. The one from Raytown, my goal is just bent red in the top corner. It was probably the best goal I ever scored. Fort Hill South game, just because it was a really important game. Love that game. I got an assist for Tony Varela for the game-winning goal. The amount of fans we had, and just a great environment, an intense game. Last year, we beat them in PKs, and there's a lot of stuff saying that we got lucky. This year we beat them in regulation, so kind of proved them two years in a row that we are better than them sectional game, the end of the season, um, no one really thought we were going to win, but we proved everyone wrong. Hey, what I'm talking about, what we're talking about all year since August 6th, this is what we wanted. Going to McDonald's after the games, just because after a good win, everybody was all excited. Got to spend a lot of time with that, with Javier and everybody that I hang out with. Just going to McDonald's right after the games or having sleepovers over a friend's house. The best memory off the field would have to be at Landon's house with Arturo, eating all his food, making Landon mad. Probably just all the, just probably all the dinners that we had after games, celebrations. Spending time with all the, all the players and just um, becoming a better team and getting closer. I hop after a Sunday morning practice. He gave me some uncooked eggs. I was pretty salty about that. And I let him know that I was really salty about that. Yelled at him, got 50% off my meal. Me and Brennan Merritt singing the national anthem. Every, every game we sing the national anthem. And it was just so much fun. Senior night, just walking out, seeing all the fans, getting to walk out with my parents. Best memory uh, would be in the locker room whenever we watched our videos on our journey to state. The best memory on the field would have to be just coming out to practice every day, spending the time with my brothers, my family, my teammates. I do plan on going to college and I plan on playing soccer there. Uh, I don't know where. Hopefully I can get some offers this coming up season in the club. I have no idea where I want to go to college. I definitely want to play soccer. 
Um, I'm waiting for club to see if I get more offers and just go from there. Uh, I hope to play college soccer, um, but got to do education first and I want to major and uh, I want to go into a pre-law program, be a corporate lawyer. I'm going to college. I'm not going to be playing soccer. I'm going to try and focus on my on my schooling and I'm going to try and get a degree in engineering. My plan for the next two years is go to Maple Woods and get my associates, just in general, and then go to the police academy after that. Does it almost feel like you? No matter what's going on in school or at home, you can come out, play with a bunch of guys you love, and play a game that you love. And it's just a great feeling. I'm going to miss all our seniors. We just had such an amazing year. Showing up early, kicking the ball around, just hanging out with friends. Spending time with my teammates and coaches and everything just because it helped us get so close. Just being able to you know, practice with um, the same type of kids I've been practicing since freshman year. You know, we've had a lot of great memories, and knowing that I won't be able to play with them next year it just kind of sucks. I'll probably miss the fans coming out to support us every game and just playing under the lights. But if you close your eyes, does it almost feel like nothing changed at all? And if you close your eyes, does it almost feel like you've been here before? I've known a lot of the guys for a while and it's just fun watching them succeed in what they want to do. you guys and it's been a great season hey guys thank you for giving us something to do after school for the past three months even though you threw your water bottles at us and drowned us in your nasty pennies we couldn't have asked for a better team to represent our school and our program but if you close your eyes Um, I hope you go off and do great things the rest of your life, um, and I hope you can stay a big part of this daily soccer program and come around here for many years to come. Thank you boys for all your hard work and dedication. Good luck. It will hurt. It will take time. 
It will require dedication and sacrifice, but it will be worth it. Okay. Return to the Mac. Get up what it is, what it does, what it is, what it isn't. Looking for a better way to get up out of bed instead of getting on the internet and checking a new hit. Get up. Fresh shot, come strut walking. A little bit of humble, a little bit of cautious. Somewhere between like Rocky and Cosby's for the game. No, no, y'all can't copy up. Bad, moonwalking. And this here is our party. My posse's been on Broadway. And we did it all way. Chrome music. I shed my skin and put my bones into everything I record to it. And yet I'm on. Let that stage light go and shine on down. Got that Bob Barker suit game and plinko in my style. Money, stay on my craft and stick around for those pounds. But I do that to pass the torch and put on for my town. Trust me, on my I N D E P E N D E N T shit hustling. Chasing dreams since I was 14 with the Fortrack busting. Halfway across that city with the back, 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 shit. Labels out here. Now they that start over. Ah, uh, yeah. Favorite, uh, favorite play? Favorite play, definitely. <laughs> uh, Are you guys f***ing him back there? <laughs> favorite play would have to be in the Fort Sage game with Tony. <laughs> guys, please. Tony, go away. <laughs> uh, I don't even know. Alright, one more time. Uh, what was the question? <laughs> McDonald's, 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 McDonald's. If you could play any other position, what would you play? Um, center back for sure. Um, I get to see Adam always hitting people, and I really just want to do that a lot during games. A lot of the forwards are really small, so physics takes effect. And um, forward, just so I'd get a chance to actually put the ball in the back of the net instead of stopping it. Give a little speed to a great white shark on shark. We walk, time to go up, a gun. Two says goodbye, I got a world to see. And my girl, she want to see Rome. See, so make you a believer now. Nah, I never ever did it for a throne. That validation comes from giving it back to the people now. Nah, sing this song and it goes like, raise those hands, this is our party. We came here to live life like nobody was watching. I got my city right behind me. If I fall, they got me. Learn from that failure, gain humility, and then we keep marching. Mama Pruitt, shout out to Mama Pruitt for cooking food all the time for me. Um, I'd probably play forward just because I think it'd be awesome to just be scoring goals, but uh, Davey's pretty good at that, so. Do you like it? Uh, no, I hate it. I hate every, every minute of it. I wish I would have played football or something. If I could play, dang it, I looked at the camera. Um, dang it, I looked down. How many yellow cards did you get this year? This year was an all-time low of, I think, six altogether. I didn't talk to refs on this much. You know, decided I was just too much, too, too good for him. Didn't, didn't want to bother trying to give him lessons anymore. Do one more. What? Walk past it again. <laughs> We're Mexican, it's kind of a, a tradition, we have to play soccer. Uh, I actually started late too, I started when I was like eight. But uh, It's just fun watching them succeed in what they want to do with their life. And I don't really know where I was going with that sentence. If I could play any other position, it would have to be a center back. Being in the air, watching Adam do his thing, watching Austin do his thing. They're always messing people up, crossing people up. Adam taking the ball up, scoring goals. Hey guys, really? <laughs> <laughs>